So, I have some news. I got a job. Yeah, very happy. I'm just really over the moon with it. It's a software developer. The company, I'm not going to mention the name, but it's a global company and there's going to be some international travel and that is very exciting. The opportunity looks amazing. I've been in the role for four days now and touch wood, I've yet to be fired. This video is going to be a little different to all my other web dev journey videos. I'm going to talk about what the job's been like for the first four days, kind of my unfair advantages, you know, things that helped me to land the job, and then I'm going to talk about where I'm going to take this channel to next. So first up, a little bit about the job. The first two days was just kind of training. So the video training was SQL, HTML. It was supposed to be a bootstrap one, but the course wasn't actually free, so I skipped that one. And then JavaScript and C Sharp. I kind of flew through SQL, HTML, and JavaScript. It weren't too difficult. The C Sharp one, I actually spent a whole day going through that tutorial. It's a little bit difficult. I do quite like the language. It's strongly typed, so that's quite different to all the other languages I know. One issue I have is I keep writing console.log because I'm so used to JavaScript and it's like console.write lines or write and it's all proper case and I'm like, my code fails, I'm like, what's going on? And I'm like, oh, console.log, isn't it? But the other part of the week, I've actually been building a data model, just a simple kind of finance tracker. You have users, users belong to groups, groups can have accounts, and then you've got transactions, categories, things like that. And it, I'll be honest, that was a little bit difficult, you know, trying to wrap my head around it all, trying to get used to the systems, getting back into SQL, because I am quite rusty with SQL. So it's been interesting, it's been challenging, but I've also quite enjoyed doing it. I've still got a few more bits to make on the app, and then I've got to implement security and permissions and things like that. So now, in terms of the unfair advantages, like things that helped me land the role, I'm just going to rewind slightly. Um, I'll be honest, I was very surprised to get this job offer. Uh, this was a job that I had two interviews for, and the second interview I just thought I totally bombed it. It was put in for an hour, it only lasted about half an hour, it was really short and I was like, oh, this is not good. <laughs> so when I got the job offer, I was really over the moon. Now in terms of kind of my unfair advantages, I think I've got two or three which helped me to land the role. First being his previous experience with SQL, although in my last job it was mostly like selecting data merging lots of different relational tables and kind of writing a few store procedures using it with SSRS. So I think that helped, but yeah, I need to do a little bit more with SQL. As I said, I'm very rusty with it. The second point which I think helped land me the job is that I have had previous work experience, not as a developer of any sorts, just as an analyst or an insight analyst. It's not much of an advantage. And then the third thing which kind of helped is I want to say it's more like my mindset. So generally I'm the type of person that does really like to help other people. And one thing I want to do in the future is to help train or mentor other people. So I think that put me in a good stead. Obviously, if you're having interviews and you're not the type of person that wants to help people, don't say that you are. They'll see you right through it. Now, in terms of where I'm going to take this channel to next, I don't want to stop doing web development. Uh, anyone in this technical field knows that it's a field for continuous learning. Really, any field should be a field of continuous learning, whether it's like HR, I don't know, construction, whatever. You should always be learning. That's my opinion anyways. So I'm going to continue with the Odin project. I'm going to dial that back quite a bit. Probably only do an hour or so each week. I may do the occasional update video on that. I'm also going to go back to creating just one video a week rather than I was going to go down the route of creating two, but just trying to get back in a routine of working. And I travel about an hour and a half to two hours every day just for commuting. So that eats up quite a bit of my time. I'll go back to doing one video a week until I've got a really good routine going on. Now, in terms of other topics to create videos about, I've got a few ideas. The first being is going back to monthly challenges. I do really like doing monthly challenges. My friends and I, we're going to actually do a drawing challenge for June. So I may do a video about that. The second being challenges related to web development or software development, I guess. That would be CSS battles, code wars with JavaScript or SQL maybe C sharp eventually. And the next two ideas I'm not fully sold on yet. The first is being create tutorial videos. I may need a little bit more experience on that before I create some tutorials. And possibly mindset. I'm a big advocate of, you know, continuous learning, having the right mindset, 
personal development and all that. Possibly go down a little bit of that route, but maybe not. If you got any other video ideas, please let me know in the comments down below. And I guess that is it for the web development journey. So week 37, I was in a job. Don't compare yourself to myself. Everyone's different. As I said, I've had previous experience with SQL, which kind of helped me with the job. You know, you're gonna have to take it at your own pace. I did get the job offer in week 35, but I was away in week 36 and yeah, quite a quick turnaround to be honest, to get in a job. It normally takes a month or so. This journey has been amazing. You know, recording these videos has really helped. I can see how far I've progressed, what I've been learning, and it's just really nice to look back on as well. I've still got a hell of a lot to learn though. If you are trying to make this career change as well, a little bit of advice, kind of double your time. If you've set yourself a time frame to get a job, just double it. It helps with the stress and pressure and things like that. So honestly, I thought I'd be in a job a bit earlier than I am now. And I was getting a bit stressed because I wasn't in a job. So yeah, make sure you leave enough time and don't put too much pressure on yourself. Make sure you go check out this other video, which will be over here somewhere. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you'd like to see more videos, then please subscribe. Hope you all have a good day and I'll catch you later.